the ball. So there's two, and you probably can't see it, but you can definitely feel it. You feel sort of like a raised right edge there. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the weakest point of the bottle, sort of this way. Okay. So I guess if we wanted to cut it in half that way, that's what we would hit. Show me with my, are you good? It's video ammo. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be the weakest point of the bottle, and then when this meets the neck of the bottle here is the absolute weakest point. Okay. So that's what we're trying to hit. But we're not sort of lopping the end off. You're going to place the blade flat on here, mm -hmm. and you're just going to sort of slide it through. I don't know if you play t-ball, I play t-ball. My t-ball coach always said the most important thing was following through, so that's what we're doing. So again, it's going to take um, way less energy than you think. Okay. The bottle is doing most of the work. There's probably close to 90 PSI in this bottle. Okay. It's about two and a half or three times what's in a car tire. Okay. So the bottle is doing most of the work, and it's ice cold. This glass is nice and brittle. Okay. So put this in your back hand or your left hand. Just hold it tight. And you're going to sort of point it down that way. Press the blade more or less flat on there. Let's see if I can find that. Place it. There we go. There it is. So we'll turn it this way. So just get a nice grip on that. Blade relatively flat here. And you're just going to sort of point it not at anyone. And you're just going to slide through it. And just don't drop the sparkling wine bottle. I've seen that happen. There you go. So, uh,